What is going on YouTube? Kronos here and welcome back to another PSO2 video. So today's video is just going to be an update on what we've got coming after the maintenance on July 13th. But if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Krono. I cover primarily PSO2 content. We'd much appreciate the subscribers work our way towards that 10k mark. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this. Now, forewarning, this week's videos might be a little bit light on information, just because it's a little bit light on content and it's pretty straightforward. But that doesn't mean that the content's all bad. So to start things off, we've got a limited time quest, the drill quest, a trap in the forest. We'll be basically taking on enemies in all three different regions. Now, the last time we had a quest similar to this, it wasn't really that great of a quest. Not so much that the quest itself wasn't fun to do, it was actually pretty fun. The problem was it just wasn't really worth your time to do outside of getting the limited quest done. So fingers crossed it's had some pretty decent drops, or at the very least, this is good for something like experience because the way they kind of spaced it out, it was almost spaced out to be great for experience, but in actual practice, it ended up being not that fantastic. While yellow triggers are fantastic, I've always said it'd be great if these quests specifically during this event time would be good for leveling. It would kind of get people in the mood to not only get other classes built up, but also get some seasonal points at the same time. So I'm really hoping this is either great for leveling or great for seasonal points. In an ideal world, it would be great for both, but that's asking for a lot. We'll have to see how this comes out. At the very least, you'll do this quest enough time to get your limited quest taken care of or taking on any sort of niche enemy you might need to for any title or anything along those lines. I know last time this type of quest came around, we used it to get our title for getting smashed by the, uh, the Stellar... Was it Stellar? No, no, not Stellar Grace. It was the one uh, trial that had the, uh, the pod land on the ground. Getting hit by it would get you a title, so... Last time it was really good for that. Hopefully it's good for a lot more than just that. At the end of the quest, this time it looks like we'll be fighting a giant rock bear or rock bear geo that apparently we can attack with mobile cannons. That's an interesting one. Basically it's a huge rock bear that's supposed to have new attacks. And like last time we have the Rappies appearing at the end, this time we have a chance to get the Sarah Emperor Rappy that's newly added to the game. And that's really all we've got for content as far as like battle content. To follow that up, we've got new scratches that are popping up. We have the SG scratch. This is kind of the obligatory new region with new characters. So get their outfits sort of SG scratch. So we've got things like uh, basically all the characters from the storyline. Uh, I will admit I didn't watch the storyline just yet since we had the option to rewatch it on our own. I plan on watching it later. So names escape me. But uh, you'll be able to see like Aina in her outfit and all the other characters along with their camos as well. And it looks like there's also a new dash, the uh, the robot at work dash, which looks pretty funny. So hopefully you guys will be able to get a hold of those or use, you know, your free SG scratches. So we get 10 of them now to be able to get some fun stuff. I'm going to kind of shoehorn this into the center, but we do have a new campaign. The thing is, the campaign is just a revival scratch. It's the 10th anniversary Oracle Memories. Unfortunately, I can't find a lot of info on what's exactly in this scratch. Looks like the link for, at least at the moment of me recording this video, just links back to the actual calendar and then the calendar link backs to itself. So not sure if that was intentional or just a mistake on the website, but it looks like we'll be having some things pop back up from previous scratches that we'll be able to get a hold of. So fingers crossed if you missed anything that you have, you know, the ability to get it now. And hopefully if you were holding on to anything to sell later, here's hoping it's not in this scratch. And to wrap things up, we also have the 10th season NGS mission pass. Pretty cool stuff we have listed in here. Nothing too crazy. It does look like we have either a motion or some form of a dash mixed into this. So keep an eye out for that one. From what I can tell, it looks like it is near the later half of the actual pass. So that should be cool. We've been seeing dashes pop up more and more. Uh, and as well, we have a new sort of mag form that apparently changes forms with its either your weapon type or your attack type. I'm not sure which of the two it is. And at the time of me recording this, I couldn't find the info for it, but either way, it's supposed to change things up. So it's pretty cool to use. I'm actually really excited to see what this mag is going to do. Either way, that's all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, toss it a like. It does help out a ton. Subscribe if you want to keep up with more. I've got a pretty interesting video on the way, so you don't want to miss that. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Peace out.